the National Archives of India, an attached wing of the Ministry of Culture, is the biggest repository of archival material in South Asia. The archives commissioned Tagbin to curate a digital exhibition commemorating 70 years of Jammu and Kashmir's accession to India. The exhibition walks the visitor through the passages of 1947 with original archival letters, documents, maps, photographs and videos pertaining to the Kashmir conflict. The use of the latest technology displayed in over 25 installations ensures an engaging and thought-provoking experience for the visitor. The tour starts with a mesmerizing 12 feet tall LED pillar, capturing the essence of the entire exhibition in a nutshell. It gives a glimpse into the story, briefly explaining the sequence of events that took place. This colossal audio-visual pillar sets stage for the Kashmir story to unfold. The map of India changed substantially in 1947. This projection map showcases India through various phases of the independence movement, highlighting the princely states and British provinces prior to partition. Creative animations are used to show the subtle transitions in the map. Archival documents such as the Treaty of Lahore and Treaty of Amritsar give the viewer a clear understanding of how originally the state of Jammu and Kashmir came into being during the British Raj. In order to understand the Jammu and Kashmir conflict, it is important to first understand the background of Kashmir. An interactive touch wall is designed to showcase Kashmir at perspective. Its history, geography, demographics and geopolitical importance are explained using animated audio visuals. Did you know walls can talk too? This projection based touch wall truly adds a magical element to any space as you watch a seemingly plain wall come alive. The content is viewable in both English and Hindi and the visitor simply has to touch any topic to know more. For the history of Kashmir, an animation of a book flipping pages is used to tell the story. Similarly, unique concepts have been used to depict each topic. The archives is home to a historic cartography section which boasts of archival maps from as early as 1800s. Being over 6 feet tall, these maps are not clearly viewable at eye level. Addressing this challenge, Tagbin created a touchscreen map application which allows the viewer to zoom in, scroll to any part of the map, key search locations and know more about the map in detail. The target audience for this exhibition is the youth. Keeping this in mind, a talking robot host is developed to interact with the visitors. The walking talking robot is programmed to welcome all visitors as well as explain features of the installations. The archives wanted to showcase some books authored in 1947 specific to Jammu and Kashmir. They also wanted to lay hitherto into the public domain white papers written on the subject matter. The challenge in this case was that these books were of fragile nature and could not be displayed unsupervised. The archival book display is conceptualized to showcase the books digitally while retaining their essence in physicality. The physical books are placed in transparent casings and a sensor-based touch allows for the visitor to choose any book which is then displayed on the screen in the center. The user can flip through the book digitally and can view multiple books in succession. Keeping in mind the historic timeline, the exhibition tour is curated as a chronological sequence of events which led to the accession of the state to India and the illegal occupation of part of Jammu and Kashmir, now referred to as POK. It is spanned across eight halls, with each hall representing a particular theme depicting the storyline. The second hall is themed around the political unrest in Kashmir after India's partition and before the first Pakistan invasion took place. A touchscreen bilingual digital library is created which appears like a bookshelf with books on it. The user, like in a library, chooses a book, in this case by clicking on it, 
and also has the option to view the book in English or Hindi. Each book's content is curated like small brief chapters supported by rare vintage photographs to give the visitor further insight into the storyline. The design and user interface of the application is attractive and realistic, giving the feel of an actual library shelf. To highlight the chronological sequence of events that took place after partition, a bilingual time-lapse documentary is created using rare photographs and footage. Each date with the corresponding event appears in the documentary. The documentary is displayed on an 8 feet tall vintage TV. This is made possible using special projection technology along with a mechanism to switch languages and restart the documentary. The installation's uncanny resemblance to an actual vintage TV makes this a truly special experience, transporting the visitor to 1947. Each hall has a mix of graphics and tech-based installations. However, each graphic has been designed in a way to give it a digital feel. For example, to mark certain important events, a calendar-shaped graphic is created, highlighting crucial dates of 1947. This hall takes the viewer through the turbulent times in Jammu and Kashmir, when the Pakistani militia invaded it by force. This invasion caused the state to suffer from rape, loot, arson and bloodshed. Keeping in mind the grimness and sensitivity of the content, a projection-based wall is created with a broken brick effect, signifying the destruction that took place. The path of invasion along with critical days is projected with a bilingual animation-based documentary. The visitor, with the help of a tablet, can choose the language they would like to view the content in and the documentary is projected in a blank space in between the bricks, creating an illusion of a hole in the wall. The hall also pays tribute to the martyrs of the Kashmir state forces that laid down their lives fighting for the state. Post the invasion of the Pakistani militia, the Maharaja of Jammu Kashmir pleaded for help from India in fighting the invaders. Post the signing of the instrument of accession, Jammu and Kashmir became an integral part of India and the Indian Army took charge of the situation. The first troops flying into Srinagar under dangerous condition to save the valley was a historic moment in Indian history and is showcased with a stunning digital graphic showing the rare video footage of the Indian Army landing into Srinagar. This also was the beginning of what was to become the first Indo-Pak War. The Indian Army fought bravely under extreme conditions to save the valley. The war saw moments of great valor and strength and each war operation was testimony to the fighting spirit of the soldiers. These war operations are showcased in a multi-touch screen, allowing the viewer to get more information regarding each battle by simply clicking the icons on the screen. These graphics showcasing actual letters and the original instrument of accession are creatively made using elements like parchment papers, seals, old envelopes, etc. further adding to the rustic feel of the exhibition. Battle maps are recreated to show visitors the areas captured and defended by the Indian Army. During the design and production of this exhibition, the company worked closely with the Indian Army, Air Force and the Ministry of External Affairs for research and copyright of all content. A rare archival documentary about the Indo-Pak War is projected with a tablet-based application, allowing the visitor to replay the documentary. Besides the Indian Army, the Air Force as well played a major role in saving the valley. This has been depicted with a lit-up Dakota, which was the first aircraft to have landed our soldiers in Srinagar. A 3D installation of war numbers catches your eye instantly, where war statistics have been displayed with backlit casings. Many artistic elements have been combined with mechanics and technology to create a wow factor. A 3D war collage is created, 
using rare vintage photographs sourced from the Indian Army and Indian Air Force. This interesting 3D pattern of labelled photographs makes for a creative piece of art while breaking the monotony of single framed pictures. This hall situates the post-war scenario in Jammu and Kashmir. The screen shows archival footage of Nehru visiting Kashmir in 1948 and glimpses of the children and women's militia. The ceasefire line or the line of control is created in this 3D graphic using LED lights and with war photos of the armed forces depicted in between the lines of the border. This collage of newspapers shows how the Kashmir conflict was reported around the globe. Dr. Sham Prasad Mukherjee played an important role in the fight against abolishing Article 370 of the Constitution. His role has been showcased using his important quotes on Jammu Kashmir. A rotoscope or a digital sliding screen has been used to recapitulate the timelines of events in the viewer's mind. A sliding touchscreen scans the event on the timeline behind it and displays more information about that particular event upon interaction. A new and innovative technology, a transparent touchscreen box is used to display an archival photo album of the Indian Army. To avoid people from touching the physical album, it is placed inside this box and its content is viewable on the transparent screen in front of it. The visitor can simply flip the pages of the album using the touch feature of the screen as well as see the album behind it. The alley of the exhibition is dedicated to the brave men who laid down their lives during the war operations. Here, the visitor witnesses the stories of heroism, valor and sacrifice of our armed forces. A digital graphic of the Paramvir Chakra awardee is displayed along with a short note about each war hero. Also placed with each is a telephone with audio sensor technology. When the user picks up the telephone, he hears the actual citation of the award. A video library showcasing rare gems of video footage pertaining to the Kashmir conflict as well as Indian independence is viewable in each section of the library. An open-air theatre has been created for public viewing of a documentary on the war operations in Jammu and Kashmir. Technology Installations, Concept Curation, Research and Content by Tagbin.